All right, guys, welcome, blog 23 or 24. I don't remember which one it is. We've done a lot so far, which is awesome. Y'all should go back and watch them all. Do me a favor and just, just watch them all. So today we're gonna be talking about marketing. Not specifically just real estate marketing, but, but marketing in general. So if you're in any type of sales, which almost everyone is in some aspect, you should definitely listen to this video. Here we go. Let's go. If you're listening, click the link down below and like and subscribe. Let's go. So marketing and advertising are two different things. So marketing, in my opinion, is attraction as to where advertising is sort of like a billboard. You know, it's just, it's, hey, look, look here, look what I do. Whereas marketing, you're building a brand, you're actually putting some time and effort into it. And that's kind of what we're gonna be talking about today is more on the marketing and not on the advertising side of it. Um, I was thinking the other day about like different types of marketing and I think the most important aspect of marketing for for me is something that I like to call only you marketing. Only you marketing. So what is that? So it's when you do some marketing and people start seeing it and they're like, man, only you would do that. Like that's something that only you would do. It's very specific to what you like, to what your hobbies are, to who you are as a person. So it's, it's a lot more authentic. And that's what people want to see. They want to see authenticity. I've always had trouble saying that word, authenticity. They want to see that in you and in, in your marketing and in your passion as well. And so, you know, if you, if we, I feel like if you start doing it right, then people will they'll come up to me and be like, man, I saw what you did, dude. Only you would think of that or only you would do that. And you can relate it to anything as in if you play golf, you know, just, just have some, some, fun, some fun things to do with golf that relates to your business. I, don't, I mean, I play golf, but not enough to come up with a, a video about it. But that's just a small example. And if it's something very specific, like if you, I don't know, if you build miniature train sets or something like that, that's very, very interesting. And people will watch that. And then if, if there's a way that you can incorporate that into your sales and in your business, once again, like, hey man, only you would come up with a video that incorporates train making and sales all in one so in the sales industry even if you're you know if you're real estate if you're insurance or car sales um any type of advertising sales whatever you do it's very hard to get lost in the mix because there's so many people that do that like with real estate we have so many agents with with insurance there's so many agents so you definitely need to think of something that's going to stand out if not, you're gonna get lost in the crowd. And that's why I think only you marketing is, is so important because once again, it's very specific to who you are as an individual and it's not just, it's not main, mainstream, it's not generic. Um, it's just something that, that's gonna stand out and it's gonna, it's gonna, it has to be something where people associate that type of marketing with your message and with yourself. So you're probably asking like, how do you find only you marketing? Like how can you really, really market something where people are gonna say, man, only you will do that. You know, that's because obviously that's what we've been, we've been talking about this whole time. So I think there's a couple of different ways that, that you can do that. Once again, it's your passion, you know, whatever you, whatever people know you for. People know you as a sports guy, then incorporate sports. People know, know you as like a, a music guy, incorporate music, you know, have fun with it because people don't wanna see you just, you know, we always talk about just a typical headshot. If you're looking to buy or sell a song, you know, people don't wanna see that. They get bored with that, they scroll past it. They wanna see you, if you're into music, you know, like do a cool album cover marketing thing or like if you can sing, sing something or if you're into sports, like do like a cool sports poster or talk about how you can incorporate sports in your everyday life in sales too like you know people always give sports analogies like give a couple of analogies that way you know sports is big where I'm from and, and a lot of people do that um, and, it, and it tends to work too because it's just it's something different not a lot of, a lot of people don't do it but the people that do do it get a good response so just find what makes you different than anyone else because once again you do not want to get lost in the crowd because that happens all the time you just don't want to be just another agent another salesperson because you will not succeed you have to do something different you have to stand out especially in this day and age when there's so much technology and social media and everything and just everybody's just blasting content out you have to make sure that your content is, is different and 
and specific to you as an individual and something that you can relate with and something that you can also be excited about. Let's just say you find your difference. You find your only you marketing. How are you gonna, how are you gonna get that reach out to people who are, who are looking to buy your product? Well, there's, once again, there's, there's a couple of ways to do that as well. And it's not gonna be overnight. It's gonna be something that you're gonna have to work on to build your brand. You're gonna have to, to you know, post, you know, two or three times a week, put it on your stories, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. Put it on, put it on all of your stories, um, probably tw two or three times a week, I'd say. And just keep building that content. And then people will be like, hey man, you're that, you're that insurance agent that like builds model trains like like it will work and it'll be so cool because once again your family's going to be talking around not your family someone someone some other family's going to be talking around the dinner table and they're going to need insurance they're going to be like that guy that builds model trains it sounds stupid but i'm telling you it makes you stand out so if you don't build model trains it's fine just think about what you do and what you have fun with and incorporate it people they just want to see that energy and when they see that energy, they're gonna wanna use you, and that's production. And in order to get any type of production, people have to know what you, what you do for a living. You know, your business comes from people knowing about your business, but they're not gonna know about your business if it's just some generic, plain, just even scripted, I would say, um, piece of content that's just boring. You know, they wanna see you as a person. They wanna see your hobbies. They wanna see if they can relate to you. Um, so that's just something to think about as far as the only you marketing just really think about that like what makes me me and how can I translate that into reaching out to the public and letting them really know what I do for a living and letting them know what I'm passionate about because a lot of people they want to know they want to know more than just what you do for a living you know they want to know if you like Pepsi hey on guys just give me one minute I have to go into an appointment unfortunately I cannot take you with me so just hang out and I will be right Back, I gotta go sell something. One hour later. Whew. Hopefully that didn't, that didn't take too long. Okay, so let's do a learning moment. So every week, obviously, by now you know that we do a learning moment. So today's learning moment is gonna kinda tie in with what we were talking about with the only you marketing. So let's just say that it's not working for you. Um, you've been doing it for two or three weeks maybe, four weeks, you're just not getting the, the reaction that you thought you would. Well, the learning moment of the day is just keep, keep doing it, okay? It may take three or four months. People wanna see that consistency. They wanna see, they, they wanna see the long term, okay? It's not, you just get, a month's not enough time. Give it six months and don't give up, just keep doing it. You'll fall, you will finally get that following, I promise you. It will, it will work out, but you have to stick with it. You can't do a, a month's not enough time. At least give it six months of just only you marketing, just different things, not, not just your generic things. Think of, think outside the box, literally. I know everyone says that, but literally, Think outside the box and think of things that are specific to you. In a box, let's go. So energized and so excited about something that that breeds production. <laughs> you gotta fit some of the stuff in this video, man. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> oh, man.